Que capaz! Look guys, quarantine's been really tough for all of us. The student checks have been barely cutting it. Look at me, I could be even barely get a haircut right now. But have no fear, because Pinecone's here to help you out. You could earn extra cash by doing simple surveys that you can do anywhere at any time. And right now, I bet you're thinking, Pat, this sounds fishy. But trust me, us normies will only deal with reputable companies. And since Pinecone is a Nielsen branded company, you know you could definitely trust them. So now, I bet you're asking, how do I get paid? Well, guess what? You're gonna get paid in three ways. Cash, gift cards, or products. These surveys are super easy. You can do them anywhere at any time. Matter of fact, while you're watching the next reaction, do a simple survey. So check the link down below to get your invite only opportunity to start earning right away. We are the Normies, that's Dameron, Serge, Mikey, I'm Rena, and that's Marquetta, and we are back to watch Ruby, season three, or volume three, episode three, and Woo! we are so excited back. We've seen a couple of the Vital Festival matches go on, Team Sun's made it through, Team Ruby's made it through, and obviously mm -hmm. Team Cinder has. Any predictions? And we saw a plane fly. I think one of the, I think one of the teams are going to lose. I want to see like one of the teams are going to lose to one of these up, these up, these yeah. like teams from another school, and I want, and I think it could potentially be the next set of like bad guys. Like that's what sure. I think. Right sure. now, they're looking too good. Everybody's looking too good. Somebody's going to lose. I predict drama in the family of Shni yep. because of the title mm -hmm. of this episode, which is it's brawl in the family. Oh. God damn it! I feel like she's right. I, feel I like didn't even right. see that. That's I awesome. Like she's right. Oh my shoot! God. What were the names? <laughs> No, I, I just thought that in the lyrics of the uh, the opening title sequence, and you were thinking the, into that dark shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so like in that in the in the actual lyrics of the opening sequence, they mm. say fall. Well, this stadium is in the air. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. I can't do you these predictions I mean? right now. Stop. I can't. I'm just saying. Seriously. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, we're gonna see who's right, who's wrong in this guy. We but... should play. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons together, bro. Sure. Oh, I bet you, you never, I bet you you'll probably never end that game. Phenomenal. You'll never end that game. I've never played it, but let's you go. You haven't, no. Your imagination yeah. is the best. Well, yeah. guys, we know that you love all this stuff really much and that you guys love, love watching Ruby with us, but please remember that this is not a market substitute. Go check out the original content on its own on Rooster, then come watch it with us, guys. After you watch it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment how this episode made you feel. If you want more, we have a Patreon, we have a Discord where we talk about you, to, to you guys about Ruby and your day, and we also have a lot of social media. All links are below, so go follow it, go do some things, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you for being here. Be blessed. It's the final brain set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, this, this, this thing fucking rips. Let's go. Can, can we be quiet for yeah, a minute? Yeah, yeah, I will, I will, I will, I'm sorry. This <laughs> Damn, so Marquette, I'm sorry to know we ruined it for you. I just yeah. want to hear it. Here we go. <laughs>
classified. No? Of course. Okay. This is nice, I think. You're going to love it here. I know you travel a lot, but so much of Beacon is different from Atlas. Vale, too. The government and school are completely separate. Can you believe it? I I'm more than familiar with how this kingdom handles its bureaucracy. Ooh. That is not why I came. Right. I'm sorry. So is Beacon Nor did always I come here to watch here? my own blood fail so miserably in battle. <gasps> But it appears I have no choice. I don't in think the matter. Beacon is. I just think but that's stadium. We won. Only a novice would refer to that as a victory. Okay. I counted at least three strikes missed. Push. Leave us. <sighs> that's how you leave? Mm. How have you been? Oh, splendid! Thank you for asking. I'm actually in the very top ranking of our sparring class. The rest of my studies are going wonderfully, too. I'm Silence, you boo! Damn! You asked I her! I don't asking about your ranking. I asked how you've been. Are you eating properly? Have you taken up any hobbies? Are you making new friends? Well, 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 well. there's really... <laughs> I see. So this is the leader you wrote of. How appropriately... underwhelming. Uh, Hold up, bitch. Thank Be you. Hot. Sit down. Be Greetings, home. Greetings, right. Rose. <laughs> I wish to thank you for taking an interest in my sister. Oh, uh, yes, of course. The honor is in my court. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I have business with the general and your headmaster. But seeing as I'm early, why don't you take me to your quarters? Really? Yes. I can't wait I for to see Blake's hanging bud. Make sure they are up to my personal standards. Of course. Just so you're aware, the bunk beds only look <laughs> unstable. Bunk beds? <laughs> I'll catch up. Wait, uh, I mean, I will reconvene with you both at a later juncture. At a juncture. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She's so cute. She's just yeah. a fighter. Like that ain't with any shit. That's what she does best. She don't juncture. talk. She don't kick it as well. Yeah. She fights. Like. Yeah. Doesn't know how to like have the sophisticated lingo. Yeah. She got a little Goku in her too. Yeah. What? What's going on? It's that dude from the bar. That's my big brother. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Ice Queen. No, not big brother. Maybe. Halt. Boyfriend. Excuse me. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Shh, shh, shh. <gasps> not you. <coughs> Not you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> He's got like a face. You. Yeah. Yeah. Is that David Hayden? <laughs> so the gaudy ship of yours in town? I guess you're here too. I'm standing right before you. <laughs> so it would seem. You realize you just destroyed Atlas military property. And he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk as hell. I was yeah. just saying, he just left the bar. See, I mistook this for some sort of sentient garbage. I don't have time for your immature game. Cro <gasps> Uncle Crow! Uncle That's Crow! Crow! Uncle Crow! The one who trained Ruby. Yeah. yeah. You Atlas specialists think you're so special, what? don't you? It's in the title. He's cool. Uh, got you a little red on really with a cape. Got the cape. And, and the red eyes. Just, uh, and the cross on, and the cross on his chest. Just like your boss. I'm not sure what you think you're implying, but I've heard enough. Oh, I heard too. I heard old Ironwood finally turned his back on Ozpin. Ozpin? Weiss, it's time for you to go. What? Listen to big sister, Weiss. She'll protect you. Damn. Just like Atlas is gonna protect all of us, huh? If you won't hold your tongue, then I will gladly remove it for you. All right, then. Students ooing. Come take it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go. Uncle Crow. Ooh, ooh. Uncle Crow's hot stuff. And he's drunk. He's super pretty. Yeah. Cool. He bowed. <laughs> Look at his weapon. I wonder if it switches around. Kind of looks like a sight. Yeah, because he made that weapon. He did. Sure. He gave it. I think it was his, right? Yeah. Dang. There's Ruby. What's going on? Oh. Some crazy guy just started attacking That's my, my drunk uncle. No, to do such a thing is my uncle. Yeah! <laughs> Kick him up. Teach him respect, Winter. 
Hold up, what? Huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all y'all can't even go tail. Alright, damn. I put me in the adult too. Ooh. think you're doing he started the altercation sir Benny. that's actually not true she attacked first not she true. did she did though is yeah. that right he she got her. a phone out like and <laughs> look everybody's animated in the background y'all there's a lot of people yeah. too you know, we're like, so here. Yeah. there's a lot of people i could be asking you the same thing i now now there is a sanctioned fight happening just around the it's corner at the Coliseum that I can assure you has Marquetta. better seats <laughs> and popcorn. Break it up, everyone. We will take care of this mess. Marquetta is every character. <laughs> Let's go. Penny! <laughs> What's up, girl? Uncle Crow! Hi. It's so good to see you. Did you miss me? Nope. <laughs> oh, that's cute. A word, please. I think I'm in trouble. You did kind of tear up our courtyard. Yeah, I did. Catch you later. Kid. Okay, <laughs> so I think cool. Uncle Crow's my favorite. He's character. so cool. He's, He's so, so cool. cool. He has an uncle vibe. He will, but that was a draw at best. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I was gonna say not really. It looked like she was running in style most of the fight. What were you thinking? If you were one of my men, I would have you shot. <laughs> if I was one of your men, I'd shoot myself. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Retaliating like you did certainly didn't help the situation. He was drunk. He's always drunk. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. Uh, Crow. Why are you here? You've been out of contact for weeks. You can't just go dark like that in the field. I'm not one of your special operatives, Jimmy. Yeah, fuck Jim. your Ironwood name. Whatever. You sent me to get intel on our enemy, and I'm telling you, our enemy is here. We know. Oh. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm out there risking my life to keep you all informed. <laughs> I like the green Communication's a two-way street, pal. Yeah. You see this? That's the send button. They had reason to have been compromised. And I have reason to assume you don't need to be here. Damn. Seriously, who invited her? 
Schnee will discuss this incident back on my ship. But, sir. Winter, leave. Damn. They low key saying the same thing. Yes, like, sir. yeah, what you doing here, too, though? Like, <laughs> huh. Bye. She wants to be involved. She's a Schnee company representative. She's so tough. Look at her. I'll be back. Go on. The cross sideways looks Your like a gun. Your little infiltrator isn't just another pawn. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. Autumn? What? Who that? Who that? Who that? Despite what the world thinks, we're not just teachers or generals or headmasters. The people in this room, the leaders of the other two academies, we're the ones that keep the world safe from the evils no one even knows about. It's why we meet behind closed doors, why we work in the shadows. So you tell me, James, when you brought your army to Vale, did you think you were being discreet, or did you just not give a damn? Damn. Good drama. Discreet Good drama. Wasn't mm -hmm. working. I'm here because this is what was necessary. You're here because Ozpin wanted you here. He made you a part of this inner circle and opened your eyes to the real fight that's in front of us. And I am grateful. Oh, well, you've got a real funny way of showing it. The people of Vale needed someone to protect them, someone who would act. When they look to the sky and see my fleet, they feel safe, and our enemies will feel our strength. <laughs> you, you think they're scared of your little ships? I've been out there and I've seen the things she's made, and let me tell you, they she are autumn. fear. Autumn and the fear, fear will the queen. bring the she, grim. And she like, we a seen guardian her. is a symbol of conflict. We've seen autumn. Okay. An army is a symbol of conflict. There's an energy in the air now. A question in the back of everyone's minds. If this is the size of our defenses, what is it we're expecting to fight? Mm. True. So then, what would you suggest we do? I suggest we find our guardian. And you're sure? Bad hair, used a scythe, and smelled like my dad after a long day. Mm. <laughs> it was him. What do we do? But he knows Uncle Crow. Nothing. Yeah, they all know we him. He's probably like course. fucking legend, dude. They have no idea who we are, so we have no reason to worry. Besides, the last of the heavy lifting is being taken care of, thanks to our clever little friend. Uh, speaking of which, it appears we have a new access point. Anywhere good? You could say that. Go to your rooms. I'll prepare everything for tomorrow. Who's the Guess friend? Me. Got it. Mm. And why is Ironwood on the screen? And he had that same chess piece they, in his phone. They infiltrated the computers, remember? They did. Maybe they're... The randomization! Ain't no randomization. She's choosing the fucking double lineup. So yeah, they're each choosing two from the winning four, and then whoever wins this, they choose one. Maybe the friend is the dude with the red mask that used to fuck with Blake. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? Son of a bitch. He's so quick. Yep. Oh, look at Winter and her design. This looks nice. Yeah. Real nice, actually. Very, it looks like like royalty, you know? It looks, it looks very nice. I like right? her shit. These planes just look like they should not be flying Also at all. pivot. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, right. Hey, look at Unk. Bro. With the red cape, yeah, nice. with the red cape touch. Alright, well, gang, what did we think? Some drama here, so we got... The nice little fight between Winter and Crow introduced to more of the adult characters, which intrigues me more because as you know, we're unfolding more of the story yeah. behind what what they're fighting for, or why, yeah. why they're so on edge. The politics behind all of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's true. Sure. Like, why does General Ironwood have such a big ass army? It's going to raise questions of people thinking like, what are we? Who are we fighting? Mm -hmm. And then Autumn, we have seen Autumn before. Yeah. Okay. She's somebody who's all like that. Like, um, what, what what was the the young lady that was like the robot? Penny. When she went back and her dad was like the scientist Penny. dude, the, the boss of them was this was the Lady Autumn. Really? She's the boss of the bad guys. 
It seems uh, like it. I don't she, remember. Did we see her though? Yeah, she was sitting at the desk when they're all there. Like, like we found out she was trying to. I forgot. Now that I do forget, but I remember it was it was a while ago. But they showed her when we first saw the bad guys meeting. They met. Um, What's his face? The guy that we, we just got rid of? Torchquick. 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 Torchquick was answering to her. Yeah. It wasn't that Cinder? No. I was the, she, Cinder was working for her. She was around her. Cinder was like her, they was part of her minions. She's the person that's vying to be like the new queen of the land or some shit like that. But she's actually politically looking good, but she's a bad guy. So what, did they all used to be friends or something? Well, I don't know. That I don't know. Like they, they know her personally. Well, we've only seen her that one time when they showed them all around her desk or her table when they're sitting there. Like, but we we had seen before she's being promoted as like a political person that's taking over, but yeah. she's actually a bad guy. If if it's fitting in with the illusion stall the Oz stuff, then yeah. then the uh, the witch, mm -hmm. the wicked witch right. that's in the Wizard of Oz was essentially trying to do the same thing. Look politically. So maybe this good, is but. what the precursor to that basically they're just showing that maybe that individual's rise to power versus yeah. Ozpin because it, it in the end of the Wizard of Oz that's what it came down well obviously yeah it came down to the Wicked Witch versus Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz so, okay so maybe maybe that character is meant to represent the Wicked Witch that would be dope Linda already who's the dope. witch who, who's working with Ozpin so maybe this this character is meant to represent the the Wicked Witch as it were of the West, uh, and if if they start to mention geographic terms, like if we saw she's from the picture. West or she's from like the Western part of the continent, then I think that's all but confirmed because mm -hmm. she was the Wicked Witch of the West in in Wizard of Oz. Yeah, the movie at least. Not I don't know about the books, but if I'm not mistaken, bro, all of the like the bad guys ultimately are working. Well. We know that the Fontis thing is separate. The bad guys are working for her. Okay. Yeah. She's like infiltrating. I don't know what I don't know what her point is. Like, why would you want to infiltrate the, the people that are saving the world? So they're kind of like. Well, yeah, I, just, to do I don't know. I have like I have zero recollection of it. For domination purposes. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Do you, I any of you remember Autumn? I keep thinking that like I, I do remember Cinder being in that. Um, An office like her, at her desk or something like that, sitting there. Yeah, but her. like I just I don't remember being another woman there. Like I don't remember Cinder. Female character. So I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. might be right though, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, you're probably I think it's right. Entirely possible. Possible. I don't have the best memory, but I, I hope I'm not making this up. But I remember because <laughs> we had seen, they had talked about her before we saw her. Sure, okay. she was being pre presented yeah. as I being remember like, the name, for sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. she's part of, she's trying to win some election or something like that, right? And if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, and she's um, and yes, she's secretly a, yeah. a bad guy politician. Yeah, like, I, I, I think that all of I'm these Muslim. are allusions to the Wizard of Oz, which would all make sense. Yeah. You know, if Ruby is kind of the Dorothy character, I mean, Zvi is the Toto character, we have the Tin Man in Ironwood, I guess. Hey, bro, the more the you talk about this, the more it starts to actually make some sense. Like, I, I give you credit for a dead series. Like, yeah. I'm starting to see it. Yeah. It, Even it, the names are starting to actually make some sense, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it I, makes some sense. Maybe the, maybe the Scarecrow is meant to be Jean because maybe. he doesn't have a brain. Yeah. Mark, are you going to take that standing up? Wow. How could you say that? No, he doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's all. It, I, I think I think there are a lot of character illusions here mm -hmm. that maybe that are all going to come full circle. Um, this was a good scene though. Yeah, yeah, yeah all of this really was, was just some drama. You put them know? on blast. Like y'all know we're not just generals, teachers. Like y'all know what we'll be really doing. This yeah. is a front for what we're really doing here. Right, right, right. And I like how bro for some reason like he, he, he everybody told the truth in that room, bro. Including general, he stepped up to the general. The general was like, "Do you even know what you're doing?" And he just looked like, "Hey, look, man, I'm just trying to look tough." <laughs> I'm trying to make sure everybody feels yeah. safe. That's my job. To make them to feel like somebody's watching their back. Yeah. I don't give a damn who we're fighting, but I'm gonna I'm gonna blow whoever they up. I'm gonna blow whoever they ass is up out of there. Yeah. I'm gonna blow them out of there. Yeah, yeah. Guess yeah, Glenda, Oz, Tin Man, according to the the um, because he doesn't have uh, a heart. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's the Tin Man. Because why, he's so why, ruthless. Why, 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 don't have a heart. He's because because he's he seems pretty cold. Leader. Because yeah, he seems cold, pretty cold. He seems pretty cold. We just got done watching the Expanse. He strikes me as the guy that wanted to blow up everybody. Like that's his idea. Yeah, I mean, He's that guy. do you also remember that he put Torchwick in like a cell, and there were like at least fifty other cells in that room? Right, that's right. Which we don't know if they're yeah. occupied. If yeah. they're not occupied, if they are, then that's quite a lot of prisoners. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I think that, I think there are quite a bit of illusions mm -hmm. in that original story. I actually looked that up the other day. You know, yeah. there are over. Tw uh, Baum, B A U M. He was the original author, last name. He wrote like sixteen Oz books. Sixteen. Jeez. There have only been two Oz movies. Yeah. Right? And then other authors wrote like six more after him. Oh, so, Jesus. I never. So there's a lot of lore to that. dig into yeah. here. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
again, it's cool to peel back the layers and see the story that's actually going on. We've seen it from right. the kids' perspective and how they're kind of getting finagled in the situation. Right. But there's just been this whole thing going on. It's like Harry Harry Potter. You know, it is, is a bad dimension. It's similar, no. But like Harry Potter or anything like you know when we see the teachers getting involved now and like. Right. You have to follow Professor Snape and looping around yeah. and McGonagall. And it's like, oh shit, so it's the real shit. We found out? something about the, the beasts, right? That they are attracted to fear. Mm, that they so. are likely to attack the city if the city is like yeah. f- filled with fearful people. Is that legit? Because that, that's what I understood from the dialogue. Because they were mad at Ironwood for putting those fleets up there. Because it makes people Afraid wonder what, what their enemy is. Damn. And then he was like, "If he said something about fear, that like if if, the, if all the people feared, and the 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 beast will like sense that." Yeah. 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 Right. And there's some beasts of the Grim who evolved beyond that, as we saw, like the elephants or whatever. Yeah. They're kind they of like, conscience. Basically. Yeah. They they've grown to like such a size, or you know, I guess I don't know if brain size yeah. is relative to physical size, but basically the point is they don't even really give a shit. Anymore. Mm. They've kind of grown beyond that, but yeah, maybe the or ones that evolved, are or they're just waiting for their moment to attack. Oh, they're not going to attack and just die. They're waiting for the moment to attack when perhaps, it makes sense. Perhaps there were yeah. also elephants. And elephants are really, really smart. Tell them, Mark. That's true. We kind of learned a lot about the dynamics of how these people are interacting. Like Crow is that loose cannon type who is a little, you know, unorthodox in his methods, but obviously they trust him because they have him doing assignments trying. for them. Yeah. And then Ironwood, like you guys said, he's kind of like the heartless, like, I just need to protect and do my job, like, being the shield of this place. And then uh, Winter, she just got dismissed, so I guess she's not really in the inner circle, or she's She's trying to be. be. She's from the rich family. She thought it was okay for her to just show up, and and they were just being nice to her, because she got checked. And this guy, the way he, like, his character fits. Yeah, we've seen it in multiple in, the, in multiple like movies and stories where like he's the guy that goes out and he sees all this stuff. This drinking thing is part of it. He's seen some shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he literally told you guys, oh, so you guys know the world's going to shit and I'm out here finding answers when you already know like, the answers? Bro, you're yeah. drunk. And she's like, he's, all, he's always oh, yeah. drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's um, in, in uh, the third Harry Potter film, The Uncle? Um, Serious Black. Serious Black. Black. Yeah. So he's kind of a Serious Black kind of character. He wasn't oh, incarcerated. He's Godfather. Yeah, Godfather. Godfather. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Ronald. Godfather. Come on, Ronald. Ronald. Come on, Ronald. Ronald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I get what you mean. It was cool. Yeah. I like seeing his interactions with his niece. You know what I mean? Like Ruby's like, hey. They, they got a nice relationship. Yeah, they're you know? cute. It wasn't like a hard it. knocks. Trend. Not like Winter and uh, Weiss, you know. Yeah, that was awkward. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. But her big sister must have been obviously been an overachiever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For her to approach her like that. And then she she didn't even say nothing to her. She checked herself like, oh, wait a minute. We're honored by your presence. Yeah, like, bro. Like, <laughs> I mean, how, how are you is a very vague question. She's like, how are you? Oh, school's going fine. I said, how are you? Like, yeah, right. oh, what the fuck? Are you eating know. well? You have any hobbies? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess. Damn. Yeah. I like, like, yeah. Nothing. I'm just going to say nothing. Push the naughty like, <laughs> 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 like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But that is probably how like how things go when you have like very successful family mm-hmm. and, like full of overachievers, especially like sure. in sports and stuff. Yeah. Where like yeah, they legit. put the kids on like serious regimes that's so that legit. they can like continue with the legacy. Mm-hmm. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Then that's probably think. honestly Winter's probably a good person too, but she herself yeah. is probably trying to suck she's, up to the father. Yeah, you know? she's just yeah. a product of her. Yeah. They're, they're all they're all products of this like toxic patriarchal pa- patriarchy? patriarchy yeah the yeah. patriarchy yeah they're all they're all you know victims yeah. of that we don't know anything about the mom yet no no, no we I, well maybe that she was the mom when we first saw her but we were so wrong yeah. 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 yeah a little young so it makes sense and mercury recognized uh uncle crow too he did he, and he went and told sure that all of them know uncle crow like he, he talked about him they're all like crow's here crow's because like he's he's, been he's out known there. throughout the land man he's like the he's been out there He's that dude. He's kind of he's kind of like Uncle Benjamin. You know, he went north of the wall. <laughs> yeah. Kind of yeah. Uncle yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. And now he's back. Yeah. But he's still ready to serve up some more <laughs> <laughs> Or die one episode later. Like yeah, Uncle sure. Ben. Whatever. No. Don't worry. no. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, guys, the, this is cool. We're all in the family. Let's, um, uh, also, yeah. it makes sense that he was the one to save Ruby and her sister from the beasts because he was always out in the field. Yeah. Right. Just so like Benjamin. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 
It's true. Oh yeah, their story about yeah, yeah, yeah. coming coming out from the wild. Yeah, like how, wild, how he became her uncle, wild, living there, yeah. and then saving like their kin from the dangers of the wild, yeah. coming back home, kind of thing. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, well, I love it. All right, it was it was it was fun to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed with us. Jesus. We will catch you the next time we're watching more Rebe. Bye. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching this week's episode of Ruby. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Quasi, Saqif, Clayton Davis, Harry Mack, Fan Explorer, and Dylan, Dane, Mr. Momus, and Joe Mags. Thanks again and have an awesome weekend.